Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the previous video we were able to uh, write our queries and we were able to fetch the data like uh, post and comments with the user and author information with the post and author information with the comment. Now this looks like we put everything inside a single file right. Now let's give a particular structure to our project and we can follow that structure later. So let's create one resolvers here. Resolvers folder where we are going to keep our all the resolvers. And uh, instead of keeping this is a mock JS, we can rena rename it to db.js because for now this is our database. Okay. And then we can have one index.js which is like uh, the main file inside source okay let's import it inside source we have resolvers dbgs index.js okay and we can also move out this particular schema okay so what we can do is we can create one file inside source let's say new file schema dot graphql I mean we are introducing new uh, file extension and we also need to compile it but we will take the help of Babel to do this and let's move our type definitions whatever we can see inside type we can put here. So the advantage of this is you don't need to worry about these backticks and inside type definitions and we will pass it separately. So this is our type definition file. Here we have type query, user, post, comments. Okay. Now we will also talk about our resolvers and we will move all those resolvers into these files. Let's say this is a folder. So let's say create a new resolver. First of all, let's say query.js which will take care of execution of all the queries if we have any mutation mutation.js and we have other types like comments, posts, user we'll create all the different different files because we are writing the resolver functions for them user another is a post and what other files we have user post comment i think that that's all we have now start moving things here so if we talk about the comment right so we can go to index.js and this is the simple definition we have and we can export this into our comment.js inside resolver we can create comment i mean things are going little slow because we are doing restructuring so bear me with that on that const comment this can be a simple function okay there is a typo and here this is a simple function we have written comment has author information right and we can export this export default comment okay similarly we can put something for the posts okay so for the post the definition will be if you go to our index.js we have author and comments for post Thing. yes we have author information now things will we will key start removing things from the index.js this is comments similarly we have post okay here we can also have a comment there is one more uh, comments which comments is doing nothing but it is returning a comment for a particular post right it is also taking a look on to the same data oh now it is context 
and we will we will talk about how we can get the this data source so here currently we have comments which we are going to get from the db we will import the db here like const give users comma comments equal to require and this is the our initial approach but this is not going to be the final approach to do it like this we are going to use the graphical way of doing things this is the post and then we have a user okay so user also will have the same thing here we will put the user here instead of db we are going to use, have use users for now i will explain what this db is just in the next example here we have a context right so we have set up everything export default user and now in the in the queries we will define all the queries we don't have a mutation yet so our queries how these look like if you go to our query we can just use const query and we can define all our functions from index.js and we will remove it so you can see these all are our queries copy and paste and for now these resolvers we don't need so let's clean them out type definitions and resolver let's go to our query and here we can paste all these so these functions are still the same these are the queries right user post comments and all now we put like queries different types resolvers and this schema.graphql file separately how we can group all these things together that we will do inside index.js okay currently what all things are left here simple server so we, we are going to import everything here from the resolvers from the mutations and all so let's say import query from we have written the resolvers inside this we have a query we will import it from there and here once we have a query we can create a server server is already there what we need to pass is type definitions and resolvers right so let's put it in a little bit details so here we need two things type definition which can be a graphql schema file okay so you need to pass the path for this inside this particular folder we have okay we have directly this particular file this is there and then we have a resolvers this is another argument inside resolvers it can be simple object where you define all your resolvers okay we'll talk about all the other arguments in the graphql server we have the type definition resolvers and you can also pass context for now let's pass this as an empty object and then we will discuss about it what all things we can pass inside context okay so inside source we have everything so these are the resolvers db index.js schema and inside index.js our type definitions should be coming from root path otherwise we may get error so it is inside source schema graphql resolvers okay resolvers you we, you can put query if you have written mutation you can put that otherwise we have like this user post and comment and we are going to import all these things user comment post right i can just copy these from my example you don't need this db instance here okay we can pass user post comment right the same thing same example now we just distribute things into different files different folders like schema will have its own folder so we can define all our schemas now this can be as as long as we want like all different types we can define type comment 
post user query and now we can also think about some mutations right till now we were talking about all the queries but we can also define mutation and then inside resolver we have to define the mutation.js and have to define the implementation of all these mutations so this is mutation let's say our first mutation is a create user okay create user will take some input now we can also create a custom input here let's say create user input this is a custom input because here the input payload will be an object not just a string right so create users and similarly we have a delete user i will talk about these two examples first and this is id so how we will access it using arguments.id arguments.data and this id is of type id and it is going to return a user right similarly we have update user there can be another type so what we need to pass here is id this is the first argument and data is another which can be of another type update user input now let's quickly and these are required right because in create this is a required input and once the create update and delete is done we are returning the user object so we have to create this create user input this is the new type we have defined so this is the input type create user input and it is going to have a name of type string which is required email email of type string that is also required and then we have is is of type int which is optional so new type we have defined create user input similarly update user input input update user input i hope this is clear what we are doing here inside update i mean this is not a javascript we are writing inside a dot graphql so automatically things will not appear so this is create then inside update we we might be asking only a few small small things like okay a partial payload because we are already passing data and all these things are optional because it's update right we are not creating we are just saying okay if you want to pass we will use these attributes to update let me see if i can format this so i can't format this okay basic formatting is done yes so these are mutations and how we deal with the mutation same as query the query is only for read only data mutations are for updating the data okay so same as query we will define our mutation and inside resolver we can create one mutation.js is already there so here we can just say const const mutation and inside this object we can define our functions create user and every function either a query and mutation takes same set of argument parent arguments here this is context and info okay and here from uh, the argument we can get all the data we need so if you just see const data i can access it from argument and here i can check okay if the data is there if this particular email is already taken all these things we can do let's say let's say first we will check email argument dot data dot email i'm just doing a destructuring const then we will say okay uh email taken or email available something like this right so what we will do is we have to import for now we are importing these things but in future we will do it differently import users from our db okay this is a js file so here we can say users dot sum if any of the user having the same email id 
which this new user is having then we will not allow creating this user so user dot email is same as the email you are passing if any of the record may match with this then we will say okay you can't create this if email Ethan then here you can do a lot of things through new error we can write custom exceptions also email already taken blah 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 something like that okay so we are going to write these kind of mutation functions same as query let's say this is for create user there is another function update user keep adding them there is a delete user for now we are just playing with the mock json object this is the data we have and we are playing with this but uh, we will define a strategy to access the data even we are not using any kind of database so this is a mutation we will import this mutation inside our index.js same as query we can say this is our mutation and we are getting it from a mutation file and specify the mutation here that's it okay so this is the basic setup restructuring of the same code into a different definition now we will see all these working in the next video